What's up, Nerds? This video is all about the SS-54 assault ship named the Halo by the bounty hunter Sugi. It was manufactured by Bodajev Shipyards, the same people that made the AA-9 Coruscant freighter. With a top speed of 800 km per hour, or 497 miles per hour, it was the exact same speed as a stock YT-1300 and about half the speed of a TIE Defender. At a length of 24.2 meters, or 79 feet, it was as long as an LA-80 plus a TIE Fighter, and at a height of 16 meters, or 52 feet, it was about as tall as one and a half ATDPs. And at a width of 22 meters, or 72 feet, it was as wide as an AT-80. -AT. Its armament isn't too extravagant, just a pair of twin cannons on the chin, and a more powerful dual laser cannon up top, towards the rear. If we take a look inside of this ship, we can see that the enormous engines are attached to the hull via ball joints, allowing for vertical takeoff and landing. The crew areas, cockpit, and rear gunner areas were all upgraded to fit Sugi's bounty hunting needs, keeping the same Spartan interiors and features, making it easier to maintain while preserving a visceral piloting experience, which was devoid of any luxury features, allowing you to hear the powerful engines roar and feel every bump when entering atmosphere or navigating through asteroid fields. Power for those forward cannons, the sensor arrays, and all the technology in the cockpit was located down here, with the main reactor that supplied energy to the turbines and the more powerful rear gun being located over here, followed by a series of power regulators that would supply the correct amount of energy to different systems, while the actual fuel for these engines was provided from large fuel reserves located here. Unlike most ships in the galaxy, this is not an ion engine, instead it was a combustion engine, like the long shot used by Miko Ginty. Its history starts sometime before the Clone Wars, when Sugi acquired the SS-54 and started to use it as her personal transport. She had painted on its side an image of a Tuka doll with a blood dripping knife, which read, nice playing with ya, a simultaneously playful and terrifying logo for this moral bounty hunter. She would only take jobs in which she felt like she was either getting justice for someone or protecting them from some other violent people, which were usually other bounty hunters. This decision, albeit a nice sentiment, did lead to a life of poverty and debt, as Jazz Amari, Sugi's niece who we meet in the Aftermath series novels, felt drawn to a life of amoral bounty hunting so that she could help get the debt collectors off of her now elderly aunt's back. During the Clone Wars, the Halo was used on nearly all of Sugi's missions, with one of the most notable being a job to protect the Nicillan farmers that were located on Felucia. Here, Sugi and her crew had to fight off Hondo Onaka's Weequay gang with the help of Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan. This ship was then used to take the Jedi back to Coruscant, and later when Ahsoka was kidnapped by Trandoshan bounty hunters, the Halo came to the rescue of the captive Padawans and Wookiees, with Commander Tarful leading an attack with his heavily armed Wookiee warriors. So that's it for the SS-54 assault ship, Sugi's Halo, but most important of all, remember, Always support your local moral bounty hunters, and the Force will be with you. Always.